This is it, guys. He utamu. Hello, guys. Welcome to MK Kitchenette. So today we are making soft, juicy gold ribs, nyamachoma, and first off, we are starting by brining. Welcome. We are going to make incisions, and then we are going to prepare the brine. Then after that, we are going to refrigerate for how many hours? For eight hours. Uh, after that, then we are going to marinate, and then. Which your mother now, okay? So let's start. Let's get rolling. Uh, I'll make incisions here so that the brine can can get inside the meat. We want to infuse it with flavor and to okay. Basically, the brine um, tenderizes the meat and also infuses it with savory flavors. But that depends on what you put in the brine. Uh, so I've made my incisions, as you can see. I'm making these incisions heavy in the appear when we, what is it called? When we barbecue the meat, it's a pattern, you know? Like a tantalizing, you know, zile wa zilikuna tumia. This is it, guys. So as you can see, it's well incised. So let's make the brine. So first we this is what we are using. We have Himalayan pink salt, but you can use the normal uh, table salt and then we have soy sauce and some sugar. Uh, I'll just put uh, enough salt and then soy sauce just enough and some sugar. I think four teaspoons will be enough. And then I'm going to add cold water to the mixture. Because we love Madoido, <laughs> I have harvested these rosemary leaves from my garden. And we put them there. Then you mix it well. Then we are going to insert our meat. So make sure it may be inserted all of it. But then we are going to cover it with a clean film to make it airtight. So this is ready. It's got airtight as you can see. And I end up a fridge for 8 hours. So let's do this guys. See you later. Hi guys, it's been eight hours or more and we want to remove the meat from the fridge and then marinate it for like one hour before we barbecue it. Looks like that. So I'll drain out the water and then tap the extra, the excess um, Brine out of the meat and then marinate it. So, uh, we want to marinate the meat. These are the spices that I'm using soy sauce and some oil. So, I'm going to massage the mixture onto the meat really nice and slow like that my hands are clean by the way like that making sure that I get the marinade all over the meat and then I'm going to cover it with a foil and put it back in the fridge for around one hour
So guys, it's been one hour and it's time to remove our meat from the fridge. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Then I'm going to put this in the air fryer. And that's it. So I've preheated my air fryer. This is the maker mafuta when I was making the marinade. I couldn't have jack with my right now because air fryers are very healthy. So I'll just put this piece in here and the other one on top of it. Like that. It's good to go. This one first. And then 200 for how long? Or 25 minutes. I've made fries. These ones have been seasoned with paprika. And these ones are plain because I'm going to feed them to my baby. I also like plain fried sometimes. So let's wait for the meat and then we'll be back. So guys, it's been 15 minutes and it's time to run the meat. This is how it looks. I'm already salivating. <laughs> so nice. let's, let's put it back in for like eight minutes. Yeah. It's been thirty minutes and our meat is ready. First half, we're going to test it. It is ready by cutting it with our fingers. It's really hot. But ouch. <laughs> so sweet. It's hot, guys. I love when it's soft. You see, I don't know if I pull it. And then I just eat. Amaze balls, amaze balls. It's so delicious. You guys should try this out and then tell me how it goes. If you don't have an air fryer, you can use your oven to recreate this recipe. Also, you can use Ileji Koyamaka and then you put a mesh on top. I'm going to eat it and I'm going to eat it and I'm going to eat it and then let's cut this and then we'll see how it looks on the inside see guys when you say juicy this is juicy this is juicy oh my god it's, it's really hot see the juicy so I want to show you guys how tender it is you can actually cut it with your hands like this see? and then it's so juicy you can see the juices and soft very soft Let's see. so I'm going to test this here we go. This is it, guys. He will come. 
Najua mtaniambia ni tag location but nakuwa nishamaliza. So this guys is the final result as you can see. It looks delicious. You can serve this uh, with rice and vegetables or ugali and also guacamole. We have a video of that uh, in our YouTube channel. Be sure to check it out. Uh, for us, we are eating it with fries on the side. These are seasoned with paprika and some meat. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Adios.